farmers have a great voice and they need to use it. The, uh, you know, with the urbanization of America, you know, people are, American citizens are getting further and further away from the farm and less of an understanding of where our food comes from. The, uh, so it's important for farmers to get out there and use their voice and let people know where the food comes from the, and what it takes you know, to get the food from the farm you know, onto your table. Um, you know, some people think it's just we go to Food Line and get the food. Well, there's a lot of steps and a lot of uh, work and capital expended you know, before it gets to the grocery store, before you can go buy it and bring it home and put it on the table. Call your elected representatives. The, uh, you know, today, um, you know, not only were we talking about agriculture, but we were talking about Syria. And I'm glad I had the opportunity to talk with farmers about Syria, because farmers have a lot more common sense than most folks. You know, we hear a lot, the, uh, whether it's about regulation, whether it's about unfair taxation, you know, the state tax. Um, you know, farms um, you know, are, are capital intensive operations. It takes a lot of money to be a successful farmer, a lot of investment. The, uh, and you know, farmers want to be able to pass that down to another generation and to another generation and to another generation. And if you have punitive inheritance taxes, you know, it prevents you from being able to pass it on to another generation. You know, if, there's a young person out there listening to this, wondering what they want to do with their lives. Think about agriculture. By the year 2050, we're going to have to double production of food to keep up with population growth. And the only place that we can do that is right here in the United States because we have the best ag science in the world and we have the best land in the world. The, uh, it's going to be a huge opportunity for future generations um, in agriculture. So. Um, that's what I'd encourage young people to get involved in. It's, it's important to get the word out. I, I see, you know, just looking around, we got a pretty good representation. It, it's, uh, it's a really busy time, but people have taken the time to come and express their views, and that, that's a positive sign. And he seems to be listening well. And he has some good points to also. Um, some of the issues that he talked about that really impact your well, immigration, you know, is, is really big to us. He, he mentioned labor as a line item on the budget, and, and it, is, it is our biggest line item. And uh, But, you know, in everybody's mind right now is Syria, and, and what his points on Syria were well taken also. I'm just thankful he thought enough of eastern North Carolina agriculture to come to Nash County and talk to, to farmers and really find out their interest and to inform them. And I was encouraged also that he asked about Syria and what common people thought about what reasonable people thought farmers were thinking about what to do in situations like that of national security and that kind of thing. So I'm just thankful he took the opportunity to come. What's some of the issues we discussed today that really impact your, your farming operation? Immigration. Immigration. We've got to have some kind of immigration policy in this country to make sure our food is grown here and, you know, and that it's safe and that we've got somebody to get these this produce and, and anything that's grown on a farm out of the field because we do not have that in um, local labor. So we've got to have somebody to do it.